Hi, I'm Kate with RGG EDU, and I'm going to show you how to install and run the Golden Rose Action. So if you've never used Actions before or are unfamiliar with them in Photoshop, there are a couple ways we can open our Actions panel. And the first one is to hit our play button over here, which will expand the panel. Or alternatively, we can go to our Window tab, scroll down to Actions, and it will open the Actions panel. Now you'll see that there's nothing in the panel currently, because we have to load the Actions. And to do that, we're going to click this tab, scroll down to Load Actions, and you'll see that I have my actions saved in a folder on my desktop. If you haven't used the actions before, you've just downloaded them, they may be in your downloads folder. So I'm going to go and open our Golden Rose action, select it, click OK. And now you'll see that in our actions panel, we have the set loaded. And if we expand this, click on the Golden Rose action. And to run it, we're going to hit play. And our action is now run. Let's take a look at our golden rose action and how it's going to affect our image. So I'm going to toggle this on and off. And this is with it on. It's going to add this sort of rosy tone to everything. It's going to deepen the shadows a little bit more for a little bit more drama. And it's just going to add this nice golden hue. If we expand our actual action here, you'll notice it's comprised of all of these different layers. And each of these individual layers is named according to its function. If you want to make a certain manipulation to the image, for instance, say you think the highlights are too cool, you could come into Cool Highlights here and you can toggle that off, or you could adjust the opacity. This action is awesome for images that already have sort of a warm cast to it. So this particular shot here was shot with natural incandescent light, so it has this kind of warm glow to it. So it's going to give a really beautiful effect for that type of lighting. It's also really great for images like this. So this was taken right before sunset, that beautiful golden hour light. We'll run this action here. You're going to see that sort of rosy effect come into play. We deepen the contrast a little bit more to give it that really romantic, ethereal vibe. This action is going to have different effects depending on what your native color temperature is. So again, we've seen this on a couple of images that have a pretty warm tone. If we try this on an image that's a little bit more neutral, Play this real quick. You're going to see that it really emphasizes the pinks in the image. Now for something like this, this might be a little bit too strong, but that's okay. We can just go into our opacity here and we can bring that down a little bit. Maybe even halfway, something like that. Toggle that on and off to check and see how it looks. And I think that's really beautiful. It adds that pop of color to the pink we already have in the image. And it brings those skin tones into more of this pink range too to kind of tie it to the flowers. So again, this very sort of romantic effect. <laughs> 